The variety and the quality of the Hensler Light product is what allows me to have the confidence to be at my best on all surfaces. The Morwell Bowling Club is your place for fun and food. Come and try bowls and make new friends. Have coffee or bring the family for lunch or dinner. The Morwell Bowling Club. Visit us today on Hazelwood Road. Welcome back everyone to BVTV. Hope you're having a great Sunday and I hope you enjoy those semi-finals. We're now down to the final of the men's and women's singles. We're actually into the first end. As you were seen from the previous semi-finals, our live stream match is between Chris Young from Chalambar Golf and Brad Pavey from Ocean Grove. Chris having a run. Ooh. Probably My name is Brad. Matt Atobre, Education and Training Manager at Bowls Victoria. And joining me in the commentary, someone who had a very successful Hensalite 2023 Victorian <laughs> Open, Tris Doolan. Thanks, Matt. How good were the semi-finals? Gee, we've had some good games. Oh. Let's see. All four of them across were close. Yeah. And I think we're in for a ripper if this is the first stand. And they're already all over the jack. Well, an opportunity here for Brad if he mm. can get down onto Chris's bowl. He's close. Yes, he is. He's oh, got it. what a start. That's probably four. That's how you want to start a final. Yep. Four. Breathing space. Brad Pavey. He just had a great game against um, Vinny, didn't he? He did. I watched quite a bit of that. It's mm. it's hard to watch that and also the live stream. Mm -hmm. Came down to the wire, didn't it? It sure did. Vinny uh, needed end. to draw to force Brad to play his last bowl. Just missed it. And of course, next door, we have Jenny Miller versus Carol Fair. And Carol just got off to a three as well. She did too. How's that for a start? Oh. <laughs> front hopper. Front noser. <laughs> How was the... Um, Crunch bowl by Chris Young. <coughs> when he was down game and just drew it. Yeah. I was Last just game. having a chat to Zach Huoni mm -hmm. before as he's about to leave. And um, I said, how were you feeling? He goes, I was, I was actually pretty confident I had it. Like I left it open. He'd missed a couple. Didn't expect him to draw it. We saw him do that last night as well against j -Bai at Trelgan in his last too. bowl. Clutch bowls. Yeah, it's pretty good leaning. One on, one behind. Be happy with that. Both finalists are in good form. Yeah, they've got every shot, haven't they? You see the drive and the draw. Well, it's just how good was it to watch the last game? Just great it's draw, bowling, and then aggression when needed. How's that for a reply? Oh. Oh. Great shot, Chris. Brad having a little run here. Oh, that was great weight for it. Yeah. There's still a fair crowd here, isn't there, Matt? Look around. 
Just trying to check what time it's five thirty on a Sunday <laughs> evening. Yeah, it is a great crowd. We yeah. we probably lost about a quarter of them after the semis. Carol Fair next mm, door. Mm. Chris is probably just trying to get a little bit of cover there. That's a good spot. Yeah, great ball. Mm. Brad looking for that same sort of weight he had on the one before. Needs to get down. Oh. <laughs> That's a good ball. Pit stiff. Sportsmanship between the two. Chris just acknowledging Brad's great bowl. So it's just cooling down a little bit here too. So it's interesting because there was a bit of this morning, there was a little bit of moisture on the green and it seemed to run a little bit quicker. I think you asked me that question and I, I really couldn't answer it for you. Maybe our viewers can. But you, yeah, were, you were still asleep, mate. <laughs> I was <laughs> tucked in bed pretty early last night. Yeah, but night. I'm sure there'll be some comments on the commentary. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, that it, wonder, it was a bit damp. It was damp. cold, yeah. Cold and yeah. damp. Does it go quicker? I felt like it was a bit quicker. And then it slowed down in the middle as it warmed up. And now it's probably going to get a little bit quicker again. Answer your question there, Sarah. What Sarah's got? Jenny's using the white bowls. Carol Fair's using the blue. There you go, Morty. Absolutely. I think she's in a green, so it'll run 18 by the time they finish. Great effort, Jan, in the uh, mixed pairs. Yeah, Morty, you had a good tournament. And there's Matt Eads just uh, confirming that what I'm saying is true. As it gets freezing at Morwell, it'll definitely get quicker. Go, I thought that this morning. Have we got a legal jack there, Tris? Yeah, I think so. Can't see the marker from here, but it certainly looks... He's right back on the tee. Yeah. Throw any support there for Brad Pavey and the Geelong community. This is interesting because Chris had this going last game where he was going short this way and long that way. Let's see if he keeps to that game plan. And these guys would have some sort of game plan. Pretty happy with your um, your Vic Open, Tris? Yeah, I am happy. It's been a it's been a hectic ten days. I bowled every day for ten days straight. I'll be happy to put the bowls away and pull out the golf clubs. <laughs> to be honest, oh, I feel sorry for you being able to get through all sorts <laughs> of <laughs> playing for ten days. <laughs> no, it's a great achievement. I think Thor uh, has done the same thing. Yeah, played yeah. every day. Did you play this year in anything? I did. I was able to play the pairs with Lucas. Okay. Probably with Pappas. Yep. Oop. As we see Brad go for... Got it. He's got it. So, of course, Jack is out of bounds, so the Jack will get spotted on the tee. Yeah. And bowl toucher in the ditch. Yep. And did you get through your section? No. We were oh. so close. This is two years in a row now that we've uh, won two games. We've actually beaten the person who got through, and we didn't get through. That's a bit stiff. Nifty Neville got us. Neville Brown. Neville, Neville Brown. Yeah. Had more shots up than we did. And he's Fair. quite happy to let us know about it too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good shot there from Chris. Chris Young. That's what he did in the last game. Yeah. Like Zach, you know, his drive was on, but Chris was able to still get numbers yeah. and win the ends. With his draw. Yeah. 
And I did say this in the last game, so if people are listening to both, I, I think eventually the draw will beat the drive. Talking about draw. Brad Pavey. Well, it doesn't really matter which shot he has to play. He plays it very well. Drive and draw. So does Zach Wody. Mm -hmm. That was an amazing game. Well, it was a good game. Yes, Kim, this is the men's singles final. We'll keep you uh, up to date with the scores next door of the women's singles final. Someone was asking, Matt, I don't know if you have the answer, I don't, but how many Vic singles Chris Young has won? So if anyone else knows on the stream, feel free to shout it out. to add there. Mm. You can see the bowls are really finishing now as it quickens up even more. Lady scores, please. The lady scores are Carol Fair, four, versus Jenny Miller, three. And if you, uh, at times, get a view of the rink next door, Jenny Miller's bowling with the white bowls, Carol Fair's bowling with the blue bowls. No time games for finals, Tris. No. You like that? <clears throat> yes, I do. I think I think the game deserves to be played out. <laughs> yep. We nearly got timed out in the uh, Chris Young Zach Waning game. I think about two minutes to go. Yeah, it got close, didn't it, in the end? I do like the other games being timed, though, because at least you can keep to some sort of schedule. Keeps it moving. Yeah, we've had this debate quite a bit on the live stream. Yes. Um, I'm aware of that. <laughs> you know, everyone wants to see a result, but not everyone's uh, running the schedule. Exactly. That's a great shot. And Brad? As we mentioned before, both finalists coming into this final in great form. Well, you don't get this far, do you? No. You've been struggling. <laughs> yeah, that's not rocket science. Yeah. Mm. Is it morning, Mike, from uh, Wales? He jumped on the other day about 5.30 in the morning. Saw that. Great to see mm. people from all around the world jumping on the live stream. Brad Pavey on the draw again. It's a good home. Maybe Could even count. count. Could do. I've seen Chris play clutch bowl after clutch bowl. Oh. He's very close here. He's done it again. Oh. He's a machine. <laughs> <laughs> Good shot. Now Brad's back bowl is gold, isn't it? He can just trail the jack. Set the bowl. He's got some options. Fence taken, Daniel. No. Nope. I agree. Tice and his uh, bowls knowledge. He's got Brad it too. Pavey. Exactly what I said. Yes. Oh. That's a great shot. 
Land the ball, trail the jack. We might see if we, we, we will be doing some rotation through this final. I'm sure he's around, actually. Yeah, we I can see if we can get him sorry, Yeah, I can see him from here. Chris, not wait. Oh, he didn't muck around, did no. he? Straight onto the drive. Oh, Gets one. One out. It's another one. Two ones in a row. I need to take the one. Just answering Kim's question, this is the final. Kim, the men's final, and next door, the women's final is being played. Carol Fair has a lead, 5-3 over Jenny Miller. Did you see the Carol Fair um, Amity game, Amity Bigler game? I, I saw parts of it. I think I thought yeah. it's a real tussle. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Chris, Run Chris Young won the Vic Champion of Champions in 1991 and then another Vic title in 1990. Okay. The state singles. Sounds like a, an all-round gun. Sounds like he's a good golfer too, off single digits. Two bowls with it a mat width. Thanks, Kim. Appreciate that. What's been your observations, Matt? Have you noticed anything particularly different about the new Vic Open format versus previous format? Um. Well, everyone's going to have mixed uh, thoughts about it. Um, overall, it's been positive. Mm -hmm. um, people like the uh, the idea of two days for each discipline. I've personally loved this finals weekend. Yeah. Watching the the semis of the singles after the uh, men's and women's pairs. That's a great addition. Yeah, it's good having all the finals together, isn't it? Do you like the idea of following your third bowl down, Tris, in singles? I do. You do? Do I you do. do it all the time or just Well, it's interesting. It's so a good often. question. I, I didn't do it every time this time, but I, I do often. That's generally my thing. Mainly because I like to see it. It's, I actually like to visualise the head and I don't sort of... Even in pennant as a third, when I'm playing third, I like to stand up with the skip if I'm playing th so I can see the head uh, at least um, what about you do you go down I, I did have a strategy for a while I, I sort of there's no plan to do it there's times mm. when I've got down there and I'm, I'm pretty glad that I was down there yeah because it looked a bit different to what I saw I don't think mat. I've ever regretted going for a look no let's put it that it's way just but I've regretted not looking you don't want to be it, it annoying if there's no absolutely no reason but most times it's worth a look if it's a, you know, close. Like, because from down here, that head's quite different to what we see. 
when you get up close. Oh, thanks, Dean. I didn't see you down here. Maybe you didn't play this particular open. Dean Curran, did he play? Middle Park. I know Nate did really well. I appreciate that, Dean. Oh, Chris. oh what a shot. <laughs> Chris Young. Here's the replay. Just a little slide. Oh, I think it might have gone to Brad. I think it did too. Didn't That's see a bit that. Stiff. Six bowls within a mat width. <laughs> Bit of love for Tyson Cromie again. We'll do our best to get him on. And we'll be doing some rotations. Brenda, we're just going to see. I'll ask the question if we can put the uh, women's score up. I'm not sure. Might cover too much of the screen, I'm, I'm tipping. But I will give you updates regularly, and I'm sure the boys will once I rotate out. So Carol Fair is six, and Jenny Miller is on four. Brad's first bowl pressure is good. So, so important in singles. First bowl pressure and... Second shot when you're down, hey? Second shot is gold. It's a fair reply. The bowls are really finishing now. You can sort of s see them hooking in that last bit. Patricia Kay, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure you could tell me the end to my talents. Thanks for that. And Sarah, yes, um, this, this does seem to be turning quite nicely. I agree with you. But that also could be that the green has actually got a tiny bit quicker, I think. Freed up, maybe. You never know. So Chris Young got shot with that last ball, Tris. Neil Smiley's our marker. Yeah. Yellow is Chris Young. Green is Brad Pavey. Thank you, Brendan. Evening, Benny Hubber. Hope you've had a good weekend and I, um, you had a good series down here. A good tawny. Done enough firing up, Benny. It's time to relax. <laughs> Thanks, Mo. You better tell Cutter that one. Opportunity here for Brad. Yes, he there he is. Get onto um, Chris Young's shot. 
He's going to bring his other two in. He's been very good at his conversions, Tris. He's close. Like, oh. Oh. What's happened there, Matt? I was sort of waiting for Neil <laughs> to give us a signal, but I don't know. One to Pavey? JT thinks it's one to Brad Pavey. Thank you, James Thompson, um, one of our newer bowlers at MCC. Mo, um, you had a great tournament as well. Got through section. Oh, Courtney. Yeah. Is that yes, partner? that is Courtney's partner. Courtney did well. Got a she did. Through the section. Courtney did really well. That's their first season. Courtney made the final of the singles at MCC as well. That's right. Great guns and both beautiful people. Um, Courtney Thompson, actually. I think that might be her dad. It's the boyfriend and the dad. <laughs> Hi, Jody. Thanks for that. Hope you're well. Jody Fruind. Oh, he's got it. Oh. He's got it. That is a great ball. <laughs> Chris Young. He just rises to the challenge every single time. Oh, no. Measuring for two. Just the one. One to Chris. Mm -hmm. Just over on the ladies while this is happening, we have Carol Fair on seven and Jenny Miller is on four. And it looks like Carol could be holding three as Jenny comes in. Oh. Probably cut got, down. got cut second. down to one. Thanks, Kaz. Yeah, AJ was awesome in the pairs. She's She's been on fire all tournament. Hope you're well. Same strategy from Chris. Short going this way. Minimum length. Shot 
Yeah, Jay, I've asked the question. I don't think we can do that uh, at the moment. We'll give you constant updates. Yeah, I will endeavour to keep you updated, but I will be subbing out soon, so I'll make sure the boys give you regular updates. It's a great idea, though. Next time, that might be something we can add because it's literally just the background. Oh, great weight here from Brad Pavey. What a shot. <laughs> great shot. He's oh, having a run at the shot ball. It's got, got it. it. Wow. This has smashed the jack, three rinks over. <laughs> Did a touchy go in the ditch? No. No? no. It's the advantage of being at minimum. Away from the tee. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's got plenty of room to draw this, Tris. Yes, one would think this would not be a struggle. <laughs> Sometimes when you've got that much room, it's actually worse, though, because you, you don't focus quite as much. Yeah, yeah, nerves. Eh? JT's just saying, yeah, nerves, you know. Anything can happen. Don't go in the pit. I agree, Brad. Pavey has a great future ahead of him in the sport. He's pretty excited about his city country trial coming up. Has goal he trialed before? I, I'm pretty sure yeah, he has. Yeah, regularly. But his Last goal year. is to make the uh, state team. Of course. He's putting his hand up tonight. Well, it's the best way to do it, right? <laughs> Um, Karen, it is not quite fully enclosed. Um, not quite. Sort of like Dandy Club, if you know what that's like. So you can still feel the cool breeze in here. It's a lot colder this side too than the other side. Is I've it? I've been over the other side, to be honest. So For Those people who haven't been to Morewell, it's a double dome. Has it? Oh, I've been over that side. I thought you meant at the green. Okay, <laughs> the other green. Yeah. No, the other green. Both greens run nicely. Very lucky to have this facility. This green's probably slightly quicker than the other one. Well, you've played, how many games have you played on this? I don't know. <laughs> it's been long 10 days. Um, I don't know. A few in here and a few out there. I lost my singles out there on that other one. He's close again here. Good shot. Oof. Casper, to answer your question, probably about 13 years I've been playing bowls now. I used to play a lot of state tennis and squash and no, golf and stuff, but um, I ended up having knee surgery, so I switched over to bowls. And like everyone I know, I started very social. got everything to play for here, hasn't he? Arrive on his front bowl. He's got it. Good shot. Cheers of go Jenny next door. Mm -hmm. Just trailed the jack, Jenny Miller. 
Carol Fair, seven. Jenny Miller, six. Great view of the uh, sunset there, Tris. It's nice, isn't it? Red sky at night. Shepherd's delight. There you go. Red sky in the morning. Shepherd's warning. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> Just holding a bit there with a little bit of weight. Well, any jack movement here could bring Chris's other ball in. I'm inter interested to see if Chris finishes here, gets him out, and he'll probably go minimum again back this way, I think. Safe ball. Not there. All right, I'm going to sub out now for the uh, JT. Doesn't mind the microphone, actually. So, uh, good night, all. Thank you, Tris, for your, all your work and well done on your Vic Open. Thanks, Maddie. Appreciate that. Chris Young. I'm back, Matty. Welcome back, JT. How good was that semi? Those two semi-finals. <laughs> you got the call to the pointy end of it too, mate. I oh, know. I'm actually a little jealous. <laughs> how, did, how did it go with the the councillor mayor? Yeah, no, she was fantastic. Awesome, great. Yeah. Really positive about having the Vic Open and what they can do in this area, um, and how the clubs have embraced it. Evening, Matty West. No, not yet. Uh, technically still on the clock, so <laughs> I'll definitely have one later, though. <laughs> it's been a long Vic Open, hasn't it? Some good bowls here from Chris Young. Actually, well... You wa you've been watching a bit of this. How you seen it? Um, yeah, look, probably Brad just been marginally more consistent at this stage of the match. And that four was good to start with. I missed that. Oh, did you? Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> quickly FaceTiming the kids. Checking in. Fantastic. Brad having a run at the shot bowl. I reckon, though, the last two ends, Chris seems like he's getting back into the match. Not that it was over or anything, but just he seems to be getting a bit more consistent, I feel. Uh, he's up to uh, get the tee. Does Brad go again? Uh, no. Marker, Neil Smiley, uh, expecting the head. Declared it's two to Chris currently. Evening, Brandon. I reckon what Chris is obviously going to weigh up is you know, maybe getting a bowl behind, counting, seeing where the jack's going to go if Brad does tap it on the butt, if you want to call it that way, or on the... You know, the, the uh, mat side of the, 
the bowl that's touching the jack. It looks like it's loaded, which means any touch it's going to spring. Just, I think he was investigating where the jack was going exactly, if it does happen. <laughs> He'd be happy he just missed that. He might have done, could have done the damage himself. I reckon Brad would be looking to, you know, drop the drop the distance and that he knows it's going to get him second shot. And if he somehow happens to touch it, well, that's that's just a bonus. But I think first result is getting second shot. Yeah, good call. Does in and flop make any difference? So I heard a little tidbit about Chris and Brad. Chris is obviously at Shalambar. Brad's grandfather played at Shalambar and actually had a bit to do with Youngie when he first started playing bowls. Oh, right. So many connections in this sport. Now we got back to second shot. One. All right, JT, I'm going to be tagged out. Tony Sherwell's going to jump in. I've got to, got to oh. talk to the boss, do I? <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> See everyone. Welcome, Tony. Evening, JT. Evening, everybody. Beautiful night here. Sunny Morwell. It's been a fantastic final day of the Hensel Live Victoria Open. It certainly has. Had some great matches. Those semi-finals were, <laughs> were amazing. Incredible bowls. Um, I've got to make sure I'll do the score now that Matty's gone. Eight four. Favour Brad over Chris Young. The ladies' final, Carol Fair is leading 10-6 over Jenny Miller. I see uh, a couple of the Merbu North boys have turned up to barrack for Jenny, locals. Evening, Mickey West. Tyson Cromie with his picks in the singles, JT. He's still alive in both. Brad Pogue and Carol Fair were his two picks yesterday. Yeah, no, not mine. I had, well, at the semi-final stage, so I've left it late, but I went Brad Pavey and Draffin. Yeah. Tyson, I think, was probably always, he actually said, in, in fairness, I'll qualify, he said, I'll take the winner of Matt Flapper and Brad Pogue. <laughs> so he gave himself a couple of pretty handy chances. But uh, he did pick it, though, Tyus. All the semi-finalists I was so impressed with, Tane. Oh, um, that's not brilliant. Yeah, like, Zach Woning's draw and drive game was really, really good. Yep. Mm, good correction here from Brad, is it? No, just yeah, short. Sure. Binny looked down and out. The next minute he was back in the game again. Got to 20 all. He was brilliant. The the ladies, the two, Carol and Jenny, both looked like always in front, but Nick, every time I thought they were getting away. Um, oh, having a mental blank. Hang on. Jenny Holmes and uh, Ian kept pegging back. Saying to Maddie over before you jumped on Tane, Brad obviously jumped Chris and he got it to a little lead, but I reckon the last three 
ends, Chris is starting to show some more of the consistency we've seen throughout the whole event for him. Yeah, um, certainly no chance that I'm going to be surprised by the quality of either of these players. It wouldn't surprise me if we see this match sort of go in a few twists and turns. Both players incredibly capable of turning it on for a few ends. Great question from Ernest Randall. Uh, it's Needle Punch Carpet. Runs around 16, 16 and a half. Might even get, if it's the type of needle punch I know, sometimes weather conditions can actually change the speed. It could have even potentially got a little quicker too. I don't know that for a fact, but I'm just, uh, I think the way the players have been talking, I feel like it's got a fraction quicker. No, I think you're right. It, it's, it's quite counterintuitive with a needle punch. When they get a little bit warmer, the fibres sort of relax and it slows down. When it gets a little cooler, the fibres contract, makes it a harder surface and speeds up. No scientist, but that's my understanding of it. That's, yes, my understanding too. So the ladies, finals currently 11-6 in favour of Carol Fair over Jenny Miller. Grandma, Jenny Miller being the local hope. Well, that's three for Chris. And if you can hang on to these, he's nearly, nearly drawing level. Brad Pavey standing in mid rink, just sizing up the head, looking at what his best option is. Favourite is going to come on the forehand and try and promote his own. Bike. Yeah, I think if he look, he, he he probably just didn't correct well enough at the last. Um, but if he can just add that two, three feet of weight, gives himself chances. He could draw to the back bowl and flop in. He could turn his own or even get to the jack. You know, so. Yep. So he's going back in. Shows exactly why I'm here and he's there. What's he done? Oh. He just raises a hand to apologise there because that wasn't the aim. Good display of sportsmanship. Yep. They've uh, been very good as we'd expect from these two, both absolute gentlemen of the sport. I'm expecting that's one to Brad Pavey, but I might be wrong. It might be closer than what we think. Measure. Look at Chris. <laughs> True. So Chris thinks it's one down from his eyes. Brad Pavey just wanted to make sure. Must be close. Yep, resigns to the fact that it is one down. So Brad Pavey with a little bit of fortune there. Gets his lead out to five shots, 9-4 in this first to 21 final. Our first go down here in Gippsland, JT. It's fair to say we've found a pretty good home. The next, uh, well, five years total. So four Vic Opens to come after this. Potentially more, given how pleased everyone's been with the clubs and everything and the welcoming and just the attitude of, of the clubs in the Gippsland area. Just so pleased to see everyone. Absolutely. You know, we've t probably touched on it a little bit during the day, but... The little clubs have been super supportive. They've um, rallied and worked so hard just to make it work. And, you know, like your Morwells and Tarogans, who are our two host venues in terms of, you know, the streaming and, and, and hosting uh, the major part of the event uh, have been brilliant as well, you know. And um, I haven't heard any negativity at all, personally. No. It's been brilliant. It's been absolutely terrific. In a couple of days of not the best of weather. Correct. Um, but that's just a product of timing. The next three or four days, ironically, are absolutely cherry ripe. 25, 26 degrees and, and bright sunshine. But that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Jenny Miller picks up two shots in her match against Carol Fair. She now trails 8-11. Uh, Glenn's asked a good question. I see the marker hold up three before Brad's last bowl. Is that normal? Yes. Uh, markers are instructed to, after both bowls of... Uh, played their second bowl to indicate how many shots are who's holding you know so um that is standard practice taught in the uh, national officiating accreditation in the markers component of it 
It's actually a really good course for those um, who want to learn how to mark as we watch Chris Young play with weight. Takes out Brad Pavey's bowl. Yeah, a super course in the, uh, the markers course. We'll give you some tips on how to be able to call ahead properly for the players, what signals to be able to give. And also it gives you some good tips and tricks on how to see who's got shot and provide better estimations to players. Thoroughly worthwhile as a course. You can do the markers course, you can do the measures course, or you do the whole hog and become an accredited umpire. Yep, absolutely. And we need more volunteers in that capacity. We always do. Volunteers, the lifeblood of the sport. Keep it all ticking along. Speaking of ticking along, oh, I don't know if it's going to have done enough, but it's going to be close. Now, international technical official, Neil Smiley, will size this one up and say that is one to Brad Pavey so far. Excellent question, Jordan Thornton. Clearly the smarter of the brothers. Yeah, spot on, Casper. Karen Murphy probably asked the most questions of anyone. And then the shot, Brad Pavey, and she's got every right to, and uh, that's enabled her to be as good as she is. Yeah, it's a good ball. It's a great correction. I would love to see some stats on Chris Young's fourth bowl. <laughs> I just think he has an amazing gift with his fourth bowl. I mean, he's, don't get me wrong, he's an incredibly gifted player, obviously. But Yeah, actually, funny, I, I, I feel like I recall in the last two days when I've seen him play that that's the case. Thank you, Cass. Very kind of you. The most polite person I know in bowls, Cass Millerick. Heck of a bowler. And she puts up with Kevy too. Just as a middle. <laughs> no, Karen, volunteers, ITO uh, officials. Depending on the event, sometimes they do get um, accommodation or whatever paid for um, at Com Games or those sort of things. But um, yeah, all volunteers as well just happen to be the best at their craft, and they get the uh, opportunities to officiate at the highest level. Yeah, spot on, Casper. And he did the same thing to Josh Sanders and J. By Norris all around the 21, 20, 21, 19 score mark. It's just put on an absolute display. And he's a really, really nice fella too. Great starter there from Brad Pavey. The Jenny Miller Carroll Fair match has closed even tighter. It's 10-11 now. Still Carroll in front, very marginally. Yeah, successive twos for Jenny Miller. So she started to put the foot down. I'm not going to lie, Tone. The other night when we were here, uh, the last day of the before the final start, technically. Um, she was playing Amity Bickley, one of our up-and-coming junior yep. stars in our state. And Amity was had a nice little lead, and mm, I did. actually even made the statement. I think Amity could win the event. What would I know? Uh, <laughs> Jenny knocks her off and just keeps rolling through. She does. She did. I first uh, remember seeing Jenny and her daughter Ange at the uh, state champions week there a few years ago. They were in a number of events. Great bowling from Brad Pavey. Well played, Brad Pavey. I reckon uh, Patricia Orich might have been in that ring too. I feel like that name rings a bell a bit. Your memory's better than mine, but what I do remember from that time was just seeing Lee and Gathy uniforms all over the place. They had a good crowd come and watch them and support each other. And played very well. They were figuring very prominently back in those days, and they continue to do so here. Oh, Chris Young. Anything you can do, I can do. Oh. Just gets the wrong side of Brad Pavey's bowl. Falls out, so still two to Brad Pavey. 
We've also had a comment from what he was affectionately known as Grey Hoodie Beer Guy, Peter Gould. <laughs> He's uh, watching at home, having a pint. If only we could get some camera action on Grey Hoodie Guy. Grey Hoodie Beer Guy. He's a uh, great sport, Peter. We had a couple of good chats since then. That was a good bit of fun the other night. Caught us seagulls because we were just invoking them. It's like, oh, we're going towards the chippy records. <laughs> I'm sure uh, we see Ocean Grove Bowling Club here uh, joining in the chat. Um, if uh, they don't uh, have it on the big screen somewhere at Ocean Grove right now, I'll be surprised. Yeah, I reckon they certainly will. Yeah, good work, Brad Pavey, just telling the players, sorry, the players, the spectators, just to wait until Chris Young bowls his bowl. So, well played, Brad Pavey. All right. This famous fourth bowl of Chris's at the moment. Doesn't look far away. Doesn't look far away. Just oh. <laughs> <laughs> so not a great deal of room for Brad Pavey to draw one more, but the way he's going... Hard to say he can't do it. Carol Fair picks up two more shots. She now leads 13-10. Um, Chalky, did Chris play Premier Division in his younger days? I don't recall him ever playing Premier Division now. I'm not saying he didn't, but my memory uh, doesn't recall it. That's probably not a bad miss from Bad Pavey. Last thing he'd want to do is inadvertently crash into Chris Young's and put them in. So went the conservative side. Yeah, spot on buzz. It's a cracker, as have the last few been. Two to Brad. Scores now 11-5. Very quick on the uh, scoreboard here at the venue too. They had you covered, JT. They've, uh, I think they've got uh, a couple of designated scorers there sitting behind. Some great volunteers from the Moore Bowling Club. Yeah, they've been absolutely spot on. They've had car park attendance and everything. They've had a team operating the, the bars and the canteens and everything else. They've had plenty of markers when they've needed it. Well done to Morewell Bowls Club. Brennan Numbers has asked a question. What bowls is Brad using now? I know why he's asking this, because Brad normally plays with arrows. And he felt like he didn't get much turn one of the first days here. And he's grabbed a, a set of Tyson spare bowls out of the boot. He did. And has ne hasn't looked back. No, it's going to be a very valuable set if he goes on to win this Victorian Open. Tyson thinks he's making a fair bit of money out of this. Well, he's got to win it first, but I think Tyson's got a fair argument to suggest he might not have won it without my bowls. Do you reckon he gets a cut? Oh, you have to think he would. I don't think it'll be 50-50, but uh, I'm sure he'll look after him in other ways. Might be first shout for coffees in the morning. This looks heavy for me, JT, but... Oh, only just. It's not too fast, yeah, is it? Could be, Alison. Could be. Jenny Miller not only goes for the bowl but gets the jack as well. Spits the jack into the ditch for two. So one down to two up. It's a fantastic Miller. bowl. It was. She picks up two. She now only trails by one, 12-13.
crowd went wild for that one. If Brad can just drop under that. He's very close to adding another. Yeah, Chris will be still playing back in here. Trying to draw a shot, and if he happens to touch Jack, or well, it's a bonus, he'll make two. Nick's McKenzie in the comments. Bowls royalty. Dennis Committee comments coming through in the chat. Yeah, I'm thinking, but at the same time, I want to be unique. I don't want to you trot out one that's, you know, used for footy. Some of them apply pretty well to bowls. Could well oh. be like this one here from Brad Pavey. Centimetre perfect. Not quite, though. <laughs> Close. Chris is close. Oh, just oh. misses. Run far away. No, he gives himself a little shake of the head with that one, Chris Young. So it's very high standards, as you can imagine. Another two to Brad. It's two consecutive twos. Nearly sounded like Richie, Richie Benno, Benno there. <laughs> Said you wanted to be unique, and then you start <laughs> parroting Richie. Well, it wasn't uh, deliberately doing it. No, true. All right, so 13-5, the current lead to Brad Pavey. It's over Chris Young. Brad Pavey representing Ocean Grove Bowls Club and Chris Young, Shalambar Golf. Shalambar Golf is the only grass green in the Grampians playing area. Is that right? Yes. Just trying to... Yes, I still believe that. I'm just thinking through my head. I should know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've been told that too. Paddle was just a touch short with his first. Maybe a metre and a half. Oh, Carol Fair is holding two over in the ladies' final. Still with one ball to come. So Grandma, which is Jenny Miller, has caught back up, but unfortunately... She might drop two or three here. Yep. Chris what, Young finds it with his first. What if actually Carol just, um, just not that the viewers can see, but just looking ahead, she, if she plays, I was going to say, if she played back in, she could actually pretend she touch it and bring her other one in as well, but she's just drawing on the forehand. And Karen Brennan had confirmed for me, Shalambar Golf is the only grass green in the Grand Pins Plain area. Yep. And yes, I am aware that they're in potential works of maybe going down the route of installing a synthetic there down the track. Mm -hmm. Sporing it, at least, anyway. Good on you, Buzz. Got the good info. No, I was aware of that, too. I think Brad's awfully close here. It's coming down. Ooh, just a little quick. Not by much. Good second. So Carol Fair picked up two last end, and it's now 15-12 over Jenny Miller. Chris Young, however, has added another, now holding two. I reckon there's every chance Brad plays weight here. He's executed them pretty well this week, in general.
he's just missed. Chance for Chris to add a third here. Just got to clear that bowl. Just runs out of steam, JT. <laughs> Still will be two shots to Chris Young. Then we'll move along to seven. Trails Brad Pavey, 7.13. And now has control of the map. We'll see his familiar tactic of putting the mat back as far as he possibly can and rolling the jack to either the tee or within two or three yards thereof. Yeah, this way he's gone uh, mat back, jack short, and then in the semi-final he predominantly went long back the other way, so... Great starter there by Chris Young. Some good support for Jenny Miller. Looks looks like four. Could well be. Oh, I think uh, Carol concedes that is four. That's a big pickup. And she's hit the front. 16-15, JT. Young applying some pressure now. Picks up two and then puts two on at the very next end. She certainly does, Casper. She's got a very passionate cheer squad. They're growing in numbers. saying, come on, Grandma. Interesting setup here. With Chris Young with three right around it. Brad Pagey with the two back ones. Chris just a touch short there, but it will count. Holding three. Probably where he's finished, though, might make it harder for Brad mm. to get shot. It's right on the line, isn't it? Yeah, just when uh, Brad pans to the behind the view shot in a second. I think he's gone wait. Yep. Good call, JT. Jack, Jack, Jack. Oh, one of the Jack clean. Didn't quite get there, so... Chris Young still holding two. One of his bowls taken out of bounds. Brad Pavey has one in the ditch, one on the tee. Or one covering the tee, I should say. But getting rid of head. one of those bowls, um, it might mean that he can actually dead draw on the back end. Yeah, Chris Young just asking whose bowl is it. They are pretty similar colours, these two. Does make it a bit hard. Good call, Michael Yacoub. Ange does look more worried in the background watching her mum. <laughs> Carol Fair with a nice bowl and the crowd supporting her too. So. Bowl here from Chris. Back to three again. 
I don't think he's not happy because no, he knows no. that there's We're on the wrong every, spot, isn't it? Well, Brad plays a similar bowl. He's, you know, he can get the jack, can get the bowls. Yep. Jack out of bounds is no good for Chris Young. I reckon Very with the lead he's got, he, he'll he'll take the punt here. Yep. Because if he gets the jack, as I say, two or three potentially. And his upshots have been very good. Yeah, oh, not exactly only did what he... he's good enough to do. Where's his toucher going? Where's his toucher no. going? Is it coming back in? No. Just going to miss. <laughs> Great effort nonetheless. He'll pick up two, though. Brad Pavey. It's a great shot. Great risk versus reward scenario. Jack, are we spotted? <laughs> Chris Young just saying to Brad Pavey, I thought that one was coming back in. It did sort of shape as if it was going to, but stayed out. So two to Brad Pavey. Takes the score, 15-7. Uh, Carol Fair gets two on the next rink, so she's hit back again. She's back in front, 17-16. Topsy-turvy, isn't it? I tell you what, you just got to applaud Brad Pavey, though. It does not miss much at all. You know what I was impressed about with him? <laughs> you know, we obviously weren't actually streaming that game, but there was an end late where he was... He had a good lead, and um, he, he probably played the wrong shot. He, he admits he played the wrong shot. Uh, it took his own all three of his own bowls out yep. and uh, dropped a four. And you could argue that it could have flustered him and maybe think, geez, it's not my day or whatever. But he, he did regroup and his last actual end when it got to 20 all was brilliant. It's the sign of a player in form, isn't it? Black over there is having a potato cake with soy sauce. You don't see that very often. <laughs> And it looks like he's enjoying it, it too. Does. Half his luck. Speaking of enjoying it. Chris Young's enjoying a bit of the jack here. Lovely bowl. Little back hopper. Notice Brad's little technique where he kind of throws it. It kind of throws it. He's yeah. not throwing it, but it just leaves his hand, I reckon. Yep. I've watched it that many times now. I'm going... Trying to see if he does let go of it or not. A bit of the feel of the weight. If it does, it doesn't really go much more than a centimetre or two out no. of his hand. Good, good uh, bowl there from Brad. Gives him options. I love crowds like that. Oh, same. And the th one thing is, they did. Uh, um, clap Carol's good bowls before too yeah, so it's, it's the yep. right way to go yep. about it uh, been very well behind having a good bit of fun yeah Bull I'll happily buy JT dinner as long as he doesn't talk about himself it's <laughs> <laughs> the one rule <laughs> can't promise you anything <laughs> yeah Paddles he knows exactly what he needs to do there he needs to either Sit Chris Young's bowl or take the jack back for maximum effort. Yes, yeah, Sarah. We um, so th I just think it's part of his pre-shot routine. I, I I've never actually asked him to be honest. Chris Young, great balls. That is incredible. <laughs> They're ganging up on me on the stream. No, well, there's two very intelligent gentlemen I see commenting in the stream, and they're absolutely 100% spot on. I'd give them an A-plus if this was a test. Did you just see what he put up then? Tony didn't see it. I missed it, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we better watch the ball first. Don't, I don't think we need to go in this line of shenanigans. He put up his routine. Is that what he's done? All right. Grandma's played a great bowl. And back Brad's to the awfully... Here. Oh, oh, Brad. There's not a gap there for that to go through. <laughs> There's actually a good shot on for Chris Young here now, JT, as we see Jenny Miller pick up four and moves to 20. 
Wow, what an end. She has picked up some big numbers in the last few ends, that's for sure. Well done, Grandma. So the shot. You, you're saying he's obviously moping, kind of try down and come down and roll Brad's bowl out. Yeah. There is the... the it, it's risky, don't you? It is, because if you just happen to be a bow and arrow and get to the jack, you, all of a sudden you might be squeezing it through the hole and you go two or three down. True, but look at the board. I mean, 7.15 <laughs> is a time that you've got to take a bit of a risk. He's going that hands. He's changed hands, everybody. It's just a touch wide. A safe line more than anything. Yeah, and no, look, I can't blame him for that. He's going to pick up two shots for his trouble. Two absolute brilliant bowls. Oh, Clarky. Dunk it on JT's side, mate. Two to Chris Young. Yeah, hardly get his head out the door. Right, up, Brad. Show me this image again. What did I miss? <laughs> I'll happily go back and watch the stream numerous times over. Oh, my goodness gracious me, I've just seen it. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your hair? Oh, there's a story behind it. No, there's no story that justifies that, mate. You should apologise profusely. Most younger days. <laughs> I think I was around 20, 21. Oh, so it's 25 years ago, so yeah, different fashions back then. <laughs> no, I'm not quite that old. Pretty close to it. Gussie's disappeared, Adam Easton. He has uh, actually actually gone to the Grand Prix. So. He uh, played a few events up here, joined us in commentary a few times. Now we've stepped it up to uh, JT and his band of merry helpers. There's another vote for uh, potato cakes with soy sauce. So. <laughs> Might have to sample it. <laughs> Carol Fair, she was down match then and Just, drew a shot. Justin Timberlake, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Well done, Samantha. Great call. We all had a fair deal, unfortunately. JT had that one. Wasn't actually so. <laughs> it wasn't even that. I could. So I've always had curly hair, which is why it gets Fuzz. shaved to number one now. Yeah. Um, what had happened was I decided I thought I'd. Wanted to dye my whole entire hair blonde. My mates did it for me first and uh, come out that yellow peroxidity colour and it looked horrific. So I end up going to the hairdressers and get them to fix it up and it actually come out white. Yeah, I'm not sure. That must have been a before photo then that we saw. It wasn't fixed up there. And the next drinks over, Carol Fair is holding one. She still has one bowl to come. So if she can add one, and then I'll get one back to 2019. Shot there by Chris. That's now his yeah, shot. Not really close. I mean, all players no. have found the line, just the weight not quite there on this end for both players. Brad's, yeah, it's all on his speed now. Yeah, this looks pretty handy. Yeah, great correction. <coughs> Carol Fair picks up one, one rink over. She still trails, but gets it back to within distance of potting out. She's trailing 2018 Chris Young looks interested and that's why asking for it to fall which is not being very obedient that bowl David Cartwright says Crystal win 21-19 and a cracker oh, if, we, if, if that is the end up stone. score then um well, we know we're going to see some good balls between now and then. <laughs> it's good fun having a little bit of banter. Mix that in with watching cracker game of balls. Everyone is happy. Looking reasonably close again. Yeah, I don't mind this. Looking reasonably close again. 
Great ball. Yep. Just check if this is one or two. Peels the one out and wants to grab the tape. Carol Fairs currently holding two. Just 2018 down at this stage against Jenny Miller. See what uh, marker Neil Smiley indicates. Yeah. Two it is. The two. So there you go. Seventeen nine. We're just, uh, Matt was just making sure we knew that Carol Fair was holding two, which we are. We're all across it, Matty O, don't you worry. Just because just you've been a bit loose today doesn't mean we are. <laughs> <laughs> it's always handy to have the microphone, isn't it? <laughs> no right or reply from anybody else. No. Um, Carol Fair is currently holding three shots now. She's actually holding match. Jenny Miller's got two to play. She's playing her third. All on her speed now. Looks to be cutting under a bit. Still could cut one out, though. Might tip it in, definitely. So um, Could be back to two. Don't know. Carol Fair just going to pile the pressure on. Doesn't want to change too much. Doesn't want to come down and have a look. She's going for a trot down to have a look anyway now after the bolt. Don't think she's there. Uh, I imagine Jenny Miller is going to want to know. No ask. Just happy to play. Oh, she's playing weight. Look at it. It's online. Jack Queen. Oh, she might have. She, I think she has bananas. won the match with that. Jack Clean all the way through was staring at two or three down. What a brilliant Jenny bowl. Miller plays an absolute bomb. <laughs> well done, Grandma. Carol Fair can hold her head well and truly high. But that is a win. 21-18 to Jenny Miller from Leanne Gaffer. She's gotten over the top of Carol Fair from Kiwa Valley. In a brilliant match, JC. And how's the uh, confidence <laughs> to play that last bowl well, and we take don't, the jack clone? We don't even know if she was two down, three down. Um, it was at least two. Yeah, and it could well have been three. She had three draw shots and then just switches to weighted and goes Wooshka. All right, we better get back to here. Uh, it looks like Brad is holding one. Yep, just the one so far. Chris Young with two bowls to come. Brad with one of his own. Wow, uh, well said, Casper. What a way to win a singles title. Victorian Open winner. The women's singles, Jenny Miller. Great correction here from Chris Young. Yeah, yeah, Brad Pavey gives it a, a clap knowing that's a great shot. Oh, boy. That was a good finish. What a shot. <laughs> <laughs> the adoring crowd absolutely love it. Brad Pavey here. To me, he's looking close here. He's looking very close. Got to drop oh. if he's going to get shot. I think he's got it anyway, doesn't oh, he? I'm not convinced. No, your eyesight's always better than me, so... I'm not sure about that. Learned not to argue with it in those now. No, Neil Smiley's declared it's a measure. Okay. Chris Young is going to come down and have a close look at this head. Currently down 9.17. A couple of times we've seen Chris Young come down and look at the head to see who he thinks is shot. And while he's down there, he asks the marker for the position. I, I do that often too. It's a really good tactic because he's just trying to get a different perspective. And you can be biased sometimes. Level, hmm? 
everything you own, go, oh, I think I've got it. I hope I... And then you're more probably sometimes hoping you've got it. Yeah, true. I, I, I often... So here we go. Oh, I don't know if it's got the trip, does it, JT? It's not far away, Tone. It does. Yeah, it's not far away. Yeah, it's a brilliant ball. I don't know why I doubted him with his fourth bowl. <laughs> Could be the best fourth bowl player we've seen. <laughs> That's a big call. Oh, <laughs> the way he's used it. I oh, he's been great. <laughs> If we had streamed all his matches from quarterfinal onwards, I would love to know the stats. It's just been incredible. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's pretty good with his first, second and third. Measuring for second now. Well, so just repeating that news from moments ago, Jenny Miller from Leangatha Bowls Club has won the Victorian Open women's singles title. They uh, waited shot with their last bowl, took the jack into the pit, followed it in after being two or three down. Carol Fair can hold her head high. The runner-up in the Victorian Open singles. And as Jay Ellendale says, with a gammy leak, nothing can hold back your enthusiasm. She was limping up and down the green a little bit. She's got a fair bit of plaster on that leg. but She was good enough to do it today for the Henselite Victorian Open singles title. As Chris Young does get that. Little moth just flew out behind us there, JT. Did you open your wallet? <laughs> what are you trying to insinuate, Tony? I'll let the crowd decide. Good start here, Chris Young. Weight's about spot on. I think he's eating a couple of lollies there too, Chris. Just fueling up a little bit. Yeah. Brad Pavey's close too. Just through the gap. Healthy spot to be. I like that one Ronnie Hales called Brad the Praying Mantis. He does give off. Brad switches to the backhand. Obviously, Chris's last bowl was probably in his line of sight a little bit. Both hands about the same width, JT. I feel like they are. I mean, it's, yeah. hard, it's always harder from this from angle, side you know. Like, yeah. And obviously, we're watching the vision, but um, I feel like they're very similar. I don't think there's any distinct hand that's playing super tight or super wide than the other. Jenny Miller still has not gotten off this green. <laughs> She's just over there talking to all the people about the match. They're all congratulating her. I don't think she wants to get off. She's a champion. She can do what she likes. <laughs> she can stick around all week if she wants. Well, maybe she's, she needs the, the, the pole to get off the, the green. She has got the gammy leg, as someone said. Yeah, the leg's giving her a bit of grief. Brad's much better here. Looking awfully yeah. close. Great ball. I wouldn't be surprised if Chris tacks here because all Brad's bowls behind, nothing. he might get the first one and get all of them potentially, or get a couple of them. It's risky though with nothing back. No, just draw. <laughs> He's not far away himself. I wonder if he can kick the jack out. No, just pulled up a touch short. Do you think Brad has options for Brad Payne no, to go? He's looking like he. The thing is, he doesn't want to be too quick and turn it out. He's and he's going to. So here's the thing. Speaking of Maddie, now last night he played against Maddie and he played a shot that was real risky. If it went wrong, he could have actually given the match yep. away. But he played it and executed it perfectly and yep. won the match. Same scenario here applies. Well, JT, I look at this and think you're seventeen nine up. 
You're 17, already holding 10. shot. 17, 10, my apologies. Yep. Yep. If he can get the jack back, he's got all four and he's got the game if he stays in. So I might uh, not have a crack. If you happen to be wide, you're going to take out opposition bowl. If you're narrow, you're going to take out opposition bowl. Just depends on hands. I think I think the forehand, he has to play it too quick. Mm. I still think any he could play it backhand and have less chance of doing damage yeah, if there isn't a damage. He to keep his bowl on. Oh, it's, it's, it's only... It's, it's, to me, it's a, a one-foot trial, two-foot trial at most. See, I don't mind if he plays a bit more than that. I don't, don't think it's going to matter too no, much. No, but if he clips his bowl out clean, he's two down. I just think he's going to play... I think he'll play softer. 17-10 up. This is a chance to win the title right here. Mm. I think you'd take two down for this amount of risk. So he's going with... Yeah, six Samer, foot away. You've, you've made the call. It's not going to be far off. Yep, and this was... <laughs> Always second prize, so no real danger. Happened to miss it a little bit. Was never really probably too played much higher than why, just to, uh, narrow than on purpose. One it is. Eighteen ten is the lead now. Brad Pavey from Ocean Grove, leading Chris Young from Chalambar Golf. <laughs> Give me some celebration going on in the. The Miller slash Hackett household? I think so. Well deserved too. Chris Young just having a good chat with Matty Flapper behind the rink there. Old state teammates. Yep, a lot of respect for both of them. Of course, Chris, current Victorian over 60s representative. Matty Flapper needs no introduction. Speaking of which, we've coerced him. We'll see if we can get the great man to come into commentary. I'll step out, go and busy myself elsewhere. Put a bit of makeup on or something like that, JT. Just because you're doing the presentations. Presentations, yes. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the rest of the game. I will be watching with interest. That's for sure. Thanks, Tony. Good start of there, Bob Brad Pavey. Oh, great bowl, Chris Young. As I welcome, uh, Victorian Open Ambassador. Uh, how many games? Come on, you got to tell me. What was it? What did I get it wrong by? 401. 401. I'll give you one too many. You did. 401 state player. Might not get 402, mate. <laughs> oh, so, Matty Flapper, welcome. Now, JT. I'm, uh, me and Tony were deliberating over what shot Brad was going to play that last end. We both thought he was going to try and go for the win, but Tony predicted more the weight than I did. I thought he might have went softer. The uh, the decision was to go a little bit softer than what actually came out of his hand. <laughs> um, he played it a bit quicker, yeah. What a reply from Chris Young here. At the end of the day, it didn't matter sort of what weight he played. It was more the risk of chopping his own bowl out. That's, yeah, that's um, what we're discussing. Didn't matter how far the jack went back, but the opportunity was there to get it. It's not a bad f opening four bowls, Matthew. It's, uh, it's been a pretty good standard, hasn't it? Ah, it's been great. Um, Tony raise an interesting uh, point and well obviously we don't have the stats to back it up but he feels like Chris Young's fourth bowl has been <laughs> he doesn't know the stats of how often he got shot out of it yeah that's seems fair. like he's played that bowl very tellingly yeah. I actually think Chris has played a lot better this end this way this direction yeah as well I think it's, it's been tight ahead as Brad's on the attack kind of lines up I reckon for his chances he's, he's not far away It's a good bowl. What a finish to the ladies. <laughs> oh, what yeah. a shot. What, we were trying to still work out whether she was down match. It was two three for down. sure. She was definitely three. Yeah, I think there were three paddles up. I didn't see it. We didn't see it. Um, we just there and I've got Tyson sitting next to me. I said, uh, Jack in the hole in the forehead. She never looked like missing. As soon as I left her in, cracking shot. 
And what I loved is the, the Mirbu North boys, who are obviously locals coming to Satichirin, but they also showed really great sportsmanship towards Carroll too, you know. So it wasn't one-sided, and um, no, it was fantastic. It's so what we want to see. I actually don't know what's harder, JT. Actually uh, out there playing. Or are, are, you a, are you a little that? bit nervous at the moment? I am, actually. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you know, obviously you play at the same club as Brad. Hang in a sec. <laughs> he's, he's official coach in this game too. And uh, what you wouldn't have known, guys, Maddie's just had to take the earpiece headset off and have a chat to Brad because Brad is looking for some advice. We, we thought this might have been an interesting tidbit if uh, Matt stayed as he's a coach in the game. We're getting exclusive information here. Uh, obviously, one on the tee, he can attack, but... Uh Gets his own head, he's got a free throw for four, so backing himself, backhand to draw the shot. His draw shots have been amazing. Yeah. He doesn't look too far away. Doesn't look too far away. I actually agree with you about being more nervous here, for, or e.g. in your capacity as coach. And, um, I've been lucky enough to coach the Perth Suns a couple of times, Maddie, and I was more nervous sitting on the sides in those games. Great yeah, ball, great, Chris Young. Great job from Chris Young. Yeah, look, it's um, it's... It's certainly not about me as a coach, it's no. about Brad as a player and you're just there for, it's more reassurance than anything and something goes uh, goes pretty bad just to be there and you know, especially look at the semi-final, those couple of ends that he played and all of a sudden it uh, gets a bit tense and just got to reassure, keep him positive. So scores now 18-13. I love how he regrouped because... I said to Tony before, that shot where he took all three of his bowls out, it would rattle a lot of plays. Yeah. I think you potentially may have cost yourself a chance of playing the final. And um, he didn't, His second to last end wasn't a terribly played end, and he, he played not a bad bowl, but that, that last end he really regrouped and, and nailed it, really. It was, and 100% no disrespect to, to Vinny at all, but um, the game probably shouldn't have ended up as tight as it did. Um, you know, but Brad gave Vinny an opportunity. Vinny grabbed it, and all of a sudden it was game on. <coughs> Chris is playing uh, very similar to his semi-final in terms of his tactics, Matty. He's uh, playing shorter this way and uh, longer back the other direction. Yeah, I had a word to Brad before, obviously going back um, the opposite direction to, to this end. Um, I felt Chris was sort of consistent when that jack was about two foot from the tee. I said, just think about maybe just changing that up a little bit. And he went shorter for a couple of ends. But yeah, Chris has maintained this length going this way, hasn't he? Do you think any... This any hand is wider or? I actually think the clubhouse side's tougher. Okay. Um, and it's probably, we've seen you know, both players have um, been on different sides of the rink. Brad's sort of maintained the forehand side going this way. When Brad's been forced to play this backhand, I felt like he, he may not have necessarily nailed it the first time, but he's, he's corrected well. Yep. How good's the etiquette in the sportsmanship of these two yeah, you know, well, Amazing. Both semi-finals. Um, you should have heard what Zach Woning said uh, to me after he got knocked out. He goes... It's hard to get angry when you lose when you play a great guy like Chris Young, you know. And he said, I don't know, didn't know much about him. And um, and, and then, and, you know, the way Zach's played great sportsmanship himself and losing, you know, so yeah, it was fantastic. I 
sitting up there at the start of the game in the roll up and I said to Linda and, and Tice, I said, oh, what's a bet Youngie comes up here and he goes, I'm nominating you as my coach as well. <laughs> <laughs> and he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised either. Great bowl here. Did it. Yes, last bowl shot. A little bit indecisive. Just got to correct on his second bowl, I think. No, he's changing. On the attack. He's got Gold something. Jack. Oh, oh well. <laughs> I feel like he was a mill. He's nearly nailed that in the guts. Yep. Very unlucky. I'm just looking at the scorecard here, and um, Chris, and Chris has never actually won consecutive ends in this match. It's probably a reason mm. why he's marginally behind at this stage. Well, we talked about before, we talked about regroup and uh, a result that hasn't gone his way. Brad's got one left. Youngie's definitely going to draw another counter here. Yeah, good bowl, Chris. I actually like what Brad's doing because he's given him a chance to have a good look, take some time, work out what you want to do. There's a decision to be made here. He's going to uh, assess and go, do I draw it? Or do I try and run the jack back and win the game? Any bit of the jack with weight. Well, I don't think there's a chance about it. A, jack's coming, a jack's coming forward in this scenario. Some, ex some more exclusive information here. He was looking at the jack, wasn't he? He was certainly looking at the jack. And uh, he's opting for the draw. Second shot is gold, potentially. Like it out of the hand. Looks close. He's played a very good shot here. He looks close. He looks close. Great shot, Brad Pavey. Yeah, look, the discussion then was, was really brief. It was, uh, I can get the jack and win the game. That's sort of like, mate, it's only sort of three, two and a half inches wide. <laughs> <laughs> Second shot's pretty good. If you draw it, it's a bonus. Well, it's good to see that uh, your apprentices listen to you. <laughs> But again, he's he's come at me with two scenarios. Pick your shot and just reassure him that go for it. Yep. Everyone's talking about Tyson's bowls. Yeah. I was telling Tyson what we discussed earlier today in the semi, um, uh, in the pairs final, sorry about the pinnacles when they were first released. <laughs> and he goes, what? <laughs> Didn't know what a pinnacle was? Nah, no idea. I, uh, I did know somebody who had them. Club member of mine, back in the day. I remember Dickie Burmeester. Oh, yeah, from uh, Barham. You know, I reckon he won a state singles or state championship champions. He, well, he definitely he won a state them. title. So he was. So you reckon he was using them then? Yeah, because I reckon he won it at Windery when I was the greenkeeper there. Wow, wait. Hey. Looks pretty good here. He slips past it. He's going to have shot. Jeez, Matty. Nearly lifted the, uh, <laughs> the 
Roadcaster never, Pro off the desk. I've never been this bloody nervous when I was playing, Josh. <laughs> I, obviously, Brad's very close to going out, but I still expect to see some some more Chris Young Bruins at some stage here. Well, he's not going to stop trying. Nah. And he's, uh, we know he's capable. So, switch of hand. Holding one, Brad. Not bad, Joshy. Yeah, it's looking mm -hmm. close. Yeah, terrific shot, Brad Pavey. Well played. And flops two. I expect probably some weight here. Chris Young close. Attack. He's going to get one at least. Oh. He's uh, Brad, Brad, the technician. I think we want a, a little replay of that. He's peeled every bowl nearly off the green. Bar. He's uh, Brad's two, which you can see. There you go. Can ask again. So obviously, uh, you know, I think Chris would have to be committed to drawing second shot here. Yep. Um, give him the chance to draw it, but uh, just get to the tee, beat Chris's back bowl, and then yeah, you know, you're forcing him to draw the shot. So yep. No other option now. And he's executed that pretty darn well. Isabel, uh, the ladies have finished. I'll give you a score plate in a second. So Chris Young, down game. Trying Bowling draws, motion. Second shot. Looks pretty good from here. He's got to run now. I think the game is... Oh. 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 I think we might be shaking hands. Oh, yeah, guys, ladies Josh. and gentlemen, Brad Pavey, 2023 Victorian Open Men's Singles Champion. Great game, great sportsmanship. Chris great Young. game of bowls from two, uh, two brilliant exponents. Chris exactly. Young, been around a long time, former Australian player and just a, a genuine superstar of the game against a young and upcoming superstar, yeah, Josh. Agree. What a performance. What agree. a week for Brad Pavey. Fantastic. Um, just to reiterate, the, the ladies' final had finished. Um, for those that missed it or joined us late, um, Jenny Miller, 2018, down match. Part of the jack to win the game, 21-18 against Carol Fair. That was a fantastic match. And as we just seen there, the finish, um, Brad Pavey, our men's champion, uh, scoring uh, two on the last end to win 21-13. Um, big shout-out to La Trobe Valley Council. It's correct, isn't it? Latrobe City Council, yes. Yep. Big uh, destination Gippsland. Uh, Morewell, Traralgon, our major host uh, clubs in this uh, event. And obviously, Hanselite, you're wearing the jacket. I am, proudly. Yeah. Um, but uh, obviously couldn't do it without them either. And, uh, you know, first event down here. Hopefully the uh, all the participants had a great time. And, um, you know, embrace it. Embrace it in future years. And uh, let's, let's double the entries next year and uh, really create what it's been the last 10 years and uh, keep, keep it flying. Great carnival of bowls. Thank you to everybody who joined us. Uh, we've had an amazing amount of, uh, <laughs> what's this commentary battle? Camera 13, Josh Zero, I don't get that one. But anyway, uh, thank you to everyone who joined us. Um, it's been a brilliant week, brilliant 10 days. And uh, thank you all for joining us and uh, have a good night. See you everybody. The Morewell Bowling Club is your place for fun and food. Come and try bowls and make new friends. Have coffee or bring the family for lunch or dinner. The Morewell Bowling Club. Visit us today on Hazelwood Road.
It's time to experience the wonder of Gippsland's West. Amongst the rolling hills of Mount Borbor, discover a tranquil green wonderland where spectacular forest waterfalls flow under mountain ash canopies. Explore historic Fernline townships dotted amongst vast rolling farmlands. Enjoy artisan wineries and providors selling locally grown delights and the best that Borbor has to offer. Gippsland, all kinds of wonder.